Hi, I'm Johnny with Balloon Animals Palm Beach, and today I'm going to show you how to make a balloon that reminds people of the barbarian from the game Clash of Clans. If you want to make a barbarian with everything, including the sword, all the bells and whistles, you're going to need five blush 260s, three mocha 260s, one yellow 260, one yellow 160, one red 160, three gray 160s, and two mocha 160s. So you're going to begin by grabbing your blush 260 and inflating it so it has about an eight or ten finger tail. I'm going to start with his arms. So you make a pinch twist. And now we're going to make a five finger bubble. Make another five finger bubble the same exact size. Twist those together. Make a third five finger bubble the same size as the other two. Roll that through. Make another pinch twist. Make three more five finger bubbles. Make a pinch twist. Another five finger bubble. Make another five, your third five finger bubble. Twist that around. Make another pinch twist. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. Wrap it through and hide it. So now what you have is one end with one pinch twist and one end with two pinch twists. We're going to make another one of these. Grab your next blush 260, inflate it so it's about has an eight or ten finger tail. Eight, nine finger tail on this one. Begin with a pinch twist. Make a five finger bubble and another five finger bubble. Twist those together. Make another five finger bubble. Roll it through. Make a pinch twist. Make another five finger bubble and a pinch twist. Make another five finger bubble. Twist those together. Make another five finger bubble. Twist that around. Make another pinch twist. Get rid of the extra. Tie that off. Twist it around and hide it. Okay, so now we're going to take the ends that have the two pinch twists and we're going to twist them together. What you do is you just grab all four pinch twists with one hand and then take your other hand and twist everything together. We go. So you have two pinch twists in front. This is his chest and arms. Two pinch twists in back. We're ready to add his forearms. Grab your blush 260 and inflate this just a bit. Four, eight, nine finger tail. We're going to start with a one finger bubble and a nice fat pinch twist. That's his fist. Now we're just going to do a little four finger bubble for his forearm. Then we're going to wrap this around the pinch twist here. 
Make another four finger bubble. Get rid of the extra, save this. We're gonna use it for his other forearm. Tie this off. Twist it around and hide it. Grab the Blush 260 scrap you just had, inflate it again. Wait, eight, twelve, no, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, about twenty-four fingers of inflated balloon. You make a little one finger bubble. A nice fat pinch twist for his fist. A little four finger bubble for his forearm. Twist that into this other pinch twist. Make another little four finger bubble. Now we can get rid of the extra. Tie this off. And twist it in and hide it. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do his torso and legs. So grab your next blush 260 and inflate this so it has about an eight finger tail. You're gonna start, let's see, four, eight finger tail. Start by twisting the nozzle into the four pinch twists here. So that this balloon comes out the middle of the four pinch twists. And we're just going to do a little two finger bubble. And we're going to do two pinch twists. One pinch twist. Two pinch twists. So now you've got the two pinch twists on either side and this balloon coming out. And now we're going to do a five finger bubble for his leg and a pinch twist and then two little two finger bubbles one two and twist those together now we're going to come back up make a five finger bubble the same size as this one twist that in make another five finger bubble for his other leg Pinch twist, a little two finger bubble, another little two finger bubble, twist those together, come back up with another five finger bubble, same size as this one, get rid of the extra, just going to pop this, tie this off. So that's his feet at the bottom. The two two finger bubbles are facing forward. Now we're ready to go ahead and do his belt and leather loincloth. So you're going to grab your gray 160 and you're going to inflate it just a little bit. So four, eight fingers of inflated balloon. We're going to make three little pinch twists. An easy way to make pinch twists is to do two one finger bubbles, twist those two together, like that, and then take this tail end 
and wrap it around the middle of the two bubbles and that turns them into pinch twists. You want to make a third pinch twist. And that's going to be his belt buckle. We're going to get rid of the extra. Wrap this around and hide it. Arrange it so you have the two pinch twists on top and one pinch twist coming out the bottom. Grab your red 160 and inflate it just a bit. So I'm leaving a six finger tail, but this is a scrap, so really you only need about <clears throat> 16 fingers of inflated balloon. And first I'm gonna measure where I want this on here, so I'm just going to put this nozzle in the middle of his back and pull the red around to the front and mark the middle of his front and put a twist there. And then I'll just twist this gray balloon into the red balloon. And now I'm going to go ahead and find out where these meet up. Go ahead and put a twist there. Get rid of the extra. Tie this off. And now I'm just going to tie these two ends together. Hold the belt on him. So that's the front. And that's the back. Now we're going to go ahead and do his um, leather loincloth. So take your Mocha 260 and inflate it a little bit. You don't need very much inflated balloon for this. So we're going to have an 8, 12 finger tail on this. Now you want to just stretch. Stretch this out. So it's nice and thin. Not as thin as a 160, but not as thick as a 260 either. Now I'm just going to take the nozzle in the middle of the back here, pull the balloon around to the side, make a twist. Then I'm going to come to the middle of the front, make a twist. this one more square. Make a twist on the side there. Find out where these meet up in the back. Make a twist. Get rid of the extra. Save this. Tie this off. And tie these two together. There we go. That's the front. That's the back. Okay, so now we're going to make the head. So grab your last blush 260 and inflate it so it has about an 8 or 10 finger tail. Ten fingers on this one and begin with a pinch twist. And now we're going to make about a four finger bubble and a pinch twist. And now another four finger bubble. Twist that in. Now another four finger bubble. 
slip that in. Another four finger bubble. Now we're gonna draw this across to this side. Push that in. So we have two here and three here. Get rid of the extra. But you wanna save this leftover part. We're gonna use it in a second. Tie this off. Twist this around and hide it. Grab your leftover blush, 260 scrap, and inflate it just a little bit. Squish the air to the tip till you have about a one finger bubble. Tie that off. We're gonna use this for the nose and we're gonna use this to attach the head to the body. So you wanna find the spot that you're gonna make the forehead and the rest of the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this bubble through these two balloons here. Grab the tail, pull it through. So the nose is sticking out and the tail's at the bottom here. Now we're gonna make the hair. Grab your yellow 260 and inflate it so it has about an eight or 10 finger tail. Four, eight, 10 finger tail. And we're just going to go ahead and attach this balloon to the ear twist here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little two finger bubble. And then we're gonna pull it across to here. And, oops. So this is about a six finger bubble. Make another little two finger bubble. And twist that around this pin twist. Now we're gonna make another two finger bubble and another six finger bubble. And now another two finger bubble. And twist that into this pinch twist. We're gonna do that again. Make a little two finger bubble and a six finger bubble. And another little two finger bubble. And we're gonna twist that into the pinch twist. Then you can get rid of the extra. Tie that off. Tuck it in. Now we're ready to put on this mustache. So grab your yellow 160. You're gonna inflate it just a bit. So I've got a four, eight, 12, 13 finger tail on it. What I'm gonna do is measure how long I want the end of his mustache to come down. And that's where I'm gonna put a bend. So I've got about a four finger bubble there. 
Then I'm going to go in about two fingers and make a twist. Go out about two more fingers on this side and make a bend. And then about down about four fingers and make a twist. Get rid of the extra. Tie this off. Now I'm ready to attach his mustache just by twisting it into the nose bubble. So that's the barbarian's head. Now we're going to go ahead and attach his head to his body by wrapping this tail into these pinch twists and arms here. All right, so there we go. Now if you want, you can be done. If you want to add a bunch of finishing touches that make him really recognizable, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now. So what you're going to do is add on some sandals and some wristbands and a sword. So, Okay, so now we're going to do his wristbands. So grab your Mocha 160 and inflate it. Until it has about an 11 finger tail. Grab your gray 160. Inflate that till it has about a 14 finger tail. And now we're going to tie the two 160s together. Now we're just going to start with a little two finger bubble. We're going to do another little two finger bubble. Another little two finger bubble. A fourth two finger bubble. A fifth two finger bubble. And a sixth two finger bubble. Now we're going to go ahead and get rid of this gray. And we're going to tie that off. And then tie it in a knot around the brown so it stays attached at this end. And now we're going to bring the brown back down and match each one of those bubbles. So a little two finger bubble of the brown. And another little two finger bubble of the brown. And another little two finger bubble of the brown. And another little two finger bubble of the brown. And now we're going to go ahead and make a two finger bubble. And we're going to get rid of this extra. Tie this off and tie this tail to the nozzle at this end here. What you really want is all the grays going one direction and all the browns going the other direction. And now we're ready to attach the wristband to the forearm. 
what we're gonna do is just tie this gray tail to this brown tail. Now you can put on his other wristband exactly the same way. Let's do his sandals. Grab your Mocha 260 and inflate it just a little bit. What you want to do is just have it inflated so that it's stiff and not flat. Tie it off. And now we're just going to Tie the tip to the nozzle. Now you have a loop, find the apex here of the arc and bring it down and just tie it in place using the tail and the nozzle or however you want to tie it in place. Now you have two equal loops, and you just roll that onto this clip. Do the other one the same exact way. Oops, this puts backwards. And if you want to give him a sword, you grab your leftover gray 160 from one of the wristbands or from the um, belt buckle. I just inflate it so it's about the length of him, his height. Grab one of the leftover Mocha 160s from the wristbands. Tie this mocha to the gray. Give it about a three finger bubble. Do a little two finger loop. And another little two finger loop. those together, get rid of the extra, tie this off, tuck that in. This way he has a brown side to the sword and he has a silver side to the sword handle. You've got the traditional sword shape, but it's not going to bend quite as badly. Tie off the tip. Get rid of the extra. And then you just slip his hand, which is the pinch twist, through these two bubbles. Whichever side you want facing forward. And that's his sword. I'm going to draw his eyes on really quick. I start with a black sharpie. And I draw two lines that are similar to check marks. And I draw some circles to connect them. Then I grab a blue Sharpie. Put some blue circles in. 
Then I grab a white Sharpie paint pen. Because his eyes have a lot of white. And that is the Barbarian from the Clash of Clans game. If you liked the video, click like, or you can leave me feedback in the comments below. I, you can subscribe to my channel. I do release videos on a regular basis, or you can check me out on Facebook or go to my website, balloonanimalspalmbeach.com, for more information. Thanks.